What's going on, everybody? Ryan Williams here of FanDuel. You can follow me on Twitter at Ryan Alexander underscore W. And I'm here on another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up to talk about three flex plays that might be flying under the radar as we get geared up for the 2022 fantasy season. We'll start it off at running back with Clyde Edwards Alaire, who has disappointed people since he's been in the league. But when you're looking at opportunities coming a running back's way, what's not to love about CEH's opportunities? There's no Darrell Williams and Jarek McKinnon to compete with in the backfield. Yes, they do bring in a guy like Ronald Jones, but Ronald Jones has not been a pass catching back in his career. Only 38 receptions since 2020. CEH has 55. So I think he's going to win that matchup there, be on pass passing downs and really be heavily favored in in PPR formats. And then we're looking at Tyreek Hill and Demarcus Robinson leaving behind 200 targets from the previous year in 2021. Any offense where, you know, we can get exposure to Patrick Mahomes here is definitely going to bring back some fantasy gold, fantasy goodness for us. So this is a breakout year for CEH at age 23. I think that we should be getting him on our teams. Let's talk about a couple receivers. We'll start it off with another LSU alum and talk about Russell Gage, who signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after being with the Atlanta Falcons. In his tenure with the Atlanta Falcons, he has had some explosive games against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Might be why they went out and offered him three years for $30 million. I mean, in five or six games, you're looking at at least five catches and 60 yards against this team. He had that blow-up game last year with 11 catches and 130 yards. And just to be able to team him up with Tom Brady, who's coming out of retirement, coming off of his best, arguably one of his best years of his career, uh, throwing for over 700 attempts there, passing attempts. Russell Gage is going to be a, a main beneficiary of that when you're looking at no Antonio Brown, no Rob Gronkowski, at least as of yet. Um, so definitely ample opportunities. Plus Chris Godwin dealing with that ACL injury. I think Russell, G- Russell Gage is able to see the field a little bit early on in 2022 and make an impact. Another wide receiver that could be flying under the radar here is a wide receiver out of Denver and Tim Patrick. Yes, we know about Jerry Judy and we know about Cortland Sutton, but how about Tim Patrick, who's absolutely beloved in Denver because this guy finds pay dirt, 11 touchdowns over the past two seasons. And with Russell Wilson coming in as a new quarterback there, new set of eyes, he's going to have his own relationships with these receivers. We don't know who that's yet to be, but it could be Tim Patrick, a reliable receiver when you're talking about moving the chain set. 72 of his 104 receptions over the past two years have gone for first downs. That's absolutely incredible. And only one of two receivers last year with over 70 plus targets and zero drops. So, I mean, Tim Patrick is is definitely reliable and he's already forming that relationship with Russell Wilson. Definitely an eye to keep, definitely a name to keep an eye on as we get closer to the 2022 season. Guys, that's going to do it for this edition of the FanDuel. Hurry up again, Ryan Williams on Twitter at RyanAlexander underscore W. I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, peace.